today's video is all about the palette knife. I'm going to give you a little introduction to the palette knife, how I use it, why I use it, and what it's good for. I think the first palette knife that I ever tried was one of these Bob Ross palette knives. It came with my little kit that I had where I was introduced to painting in the beginning. I think I was probably a junior in high school. But this was what came in the kit. It looks really bad now. It's really dirty. But what he used it for mostly was to scoot along the edge of water and make pretty like reflections in the water. So that was my first introduction to a palette knife just in general. I don't usually I don't use this anymore. I use it sometimes like to dig out some paint and put it down on my palette or whatever, but the shape of this knife is not it doesn't work for me. So this knife here is the one that I use most of the time and it is just my favorite. I don't know if I have any other knives that I use more than I use this one. I don't think I do. It has this pointed tip and it, you can make little small details with it if you need to. It's just more versatile, I guess, than any other knife. Now, if you wanted to use something bigger, this one doesn't have quite as sharp a tip on it. If you're painting on something that is a larger canvas, then you may want to get a larger knife. But this one is the one that has been my go-to for a long time. And these are some examples of what happens when you paint with a palette knife. You get all of this texture and looseness and you don't, you can't have quite as much control with a knife like you do with a brush. So the way that I like to paint is really loose, really almost abstract, very impressionistic. And I was wanting to have that style when I first began painting, but I was having a lot of trouble getting that style because I was using brushes and I was looking for one for just for an example. Brushes with a short handle are going to make you really tight with your painting. Brushes with a long handle will help you to loosen up because you don't have as much control over what you're painting. But a knife is the ultimate loose painting tool, <laughs> in my opinion. I couldn't get that looseness with the brush even when I tried long handle brushes, so I switched to the knife and that is when I started really seeing a difference. So let's take a look at the knife and how I use it to create that texture and that really loose look. We're going to paint a sunflower. That's one of the first things that I began painting with the knife. And now in my, my practice, I normally use a little bit of brush and a little bit of knife work and put those together. Another thing that is important is that you are using paint that is thick enough to stick to your knife. So what I'm using here, this is paint, it's acrylic paint, it's called high viscosity or thick paint. It is not your craft paint that you would buy in just the bottle, it comes in a tube and it comes in different brands. There's not really one brand that I think is a lot better than another, other than certain, there are certain hues that I like better in different um, brands. Like I like the Burnt Umber in the Golden, and I also like Sap Green in Golden, but just you just use whatever is available to you, but just make sure that it is going to be thick enough that when you do this, let me show you, it sticks to your knife. It's got to be able to stick, <clears throat> stick to the knife. Okay, let's just do a little sunflower here. And I'm gonna start with 
a brush and my blue paint and I'll just kind of give myself an idea of how I want this to look. So I want it to face this way. And I'm going to want to have just some leaves and maybe a stem. Something like that. Okay, I'm going to bring it down a little. So with your knife, you're going to want to start with your burnt umber in the middle. See how much I've got loaded on there? And then you just... It's almost like frosting a cake. Just kind of spread it around in there and block in that color. And you may want to put a little over here where your leaves are going to be. And to clean a palette knife, you just wipe it off. You don't even have to have a cup of water or anything. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is pick up my medium colored yellow which is yellow ochre and I've got a lot of it on my knife see how thick that is it really really sticks to the knife and I'm just gonna go around and take really fast short swipes you can come toward the center or you can go from the outside in either way okay I'm gonna leave this on my knife pick up my cadmium yellow which is a bright yellow and while this is still wet I'm just gonna go back over this and that is going to give me all sorts of dimension and it mixes the two hues together just enough okay and now I'm going to dip into my white paint and go back and do the same thing not as much just a little bit of white you don't need very much white and you may want to put a little white in there you don't have to and then I'm gonna wipe my knife off again go back into my green make a few little swipes for a couple of leaves and then pull down to make my stem grab some of that white and there you have it <laughs> it took just minimal amount of time to do this and you have all this great texture and all these colors that have meshed together it's a very fun way to paint a very quick and it's not effortless but it takes a lot less patience to paint this way in my opinion if you can just let go and try it so I want to challenge you to grab your own palette knife and give a sunflower a try <laughs>